Well, talking yeah. about full volume and full spectrum, what kind of eats have you guys had? <laughs> <Right>. <laughs> I oh, always go to that. All the French oh, you know, food that you had. <laughs> the last time we were here uh, mixing our record, uh, that was last March, we had this uh, ethereal experience at the Rainbow Room. It was like we went oh, there nice. at night. And Late at night. It yeah. was just, um, I, I, compared, uh, I compared it to a, uh, like a, a ghost pirate ship. It's kind of the experience. It's kind of weaving through this place. Yeah. So we went, what, yesterday before our Yeah, we went to party a party last, last night. night. And then beforehand, we were like, okay, we got to go. Wait, you went Saturday though. night to the rainbow? No, we went last night. So, uh, so Sunday, oh, night. Sunday night. Yeah. Sunday night. Yeah. So, so we All went right. like yesterday before this party we were going to and just had some quick dinner. And it was like a totally different place. You know, it was like you know, we had pizza. It was like. I, I can't we, believe it was the same place. Because it was so packed last time. We didn't really see the main room when you walk in downstairs. Like, we went right up the staircase to the upstairs. And, oh, okay. Gotcha. Yeah. Like and so, lounge area, right? Yeah. So we went up there and then, like, went down and out back to smoke and hang out. And it was just, it felt, like, uh, very different. And people were starting to show up yesterday. But, um, yeah, getting to just sit downstairs, it felt like two totally different universes. So we yeah. were kind of cracking up about that, like, uh, so that was a good experience. Food wise, other than that, what did we? I mean, my favorite meal since we've been here uh, was at Toy. It's a um, a Thai restaurant. Oh my god, it's my favorite! It's my favorite oh, Thai restaurant. It's right. Oh, oh man, god, I love yeah. that place. The last time um, Barry actually took me out to Hollywood, I forced him did we go there to take him to we Toy. I was like, too? we got to go to Toy. We were like right at the. Uh, what was the, the 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 music maker museum right there oh. that we went to, Barry? Music head gallery, right? Yeah, there the music Gibson, head right? gallery, and it was like right across the street. I was like, oh man, we gotta go to toy. He's like, what's toy? I was like, it's rock and roll tie, man. We gotta right. go. Sorry. That's exact. That's a well, very well put. That's exactly what it is. Yeah, rock and roll dude. tie. Yeah. Did you? Uh, was there a band playing? Usually they have bands playing. We got a <laughs> like when we went, we got like a really cool like punk band that was playing. Oh, oh no, there was great. there was no one playing, uh, but they definitely had great music on and just seeing Phil kept saying this place hasn't changed since I've like Oh no, no. Enough, <laughs> not not for like forty years. It's like yeah, all the tables, tables are all they, they do drummer, change the the tables every now and then they like laminate okay. new pictures and magazine covers and stuff yeah. on the tops. But besides our, that, it's, it's all the same. Our drummer's name is Mike, and so we were cracking up because I went into the ladies' restroom and like you know, they have those little sheets that you can place on, like, the toilet seat. On oh, that yeah. was written, um, uh, Mike got me pregnant in this bathroom. <laughs> so I took a picture of that, and I sent it to Mike, and I was like, what were you doing in L.A.? You know, just, <laughs> oh, uh, but I was crazy. Like, the bathrooms didn't have mirrors, but they, it was, like, totally graffitied. And it was just kind of fun to, like, look at all the what people would write. You yeah. know, you kind of see that in most venues, but for the walls to literally be layered and layered and layered, it was pretty cool oh that's fantastic there that's like that's yeah. like going back to 1980s sunset yeah. strip hair metal bands kind of stuff like that place is that place is great uh the one recommendation that i'm gonna make before you go before you leave los angeles because it sounds like you're in that area uh go get pancakes at the griddle cafe the griddle okay. cafe okay oh, all right yeah, yeah you will so. you will not you will not uh you will not be sad about that experience either. So um, huge yeah. pancakes, fantastic. And it's also uh, an L.A. staple. So you can tell okay. people. Awesome. Right. Well, cool. you know what, Tim and Mallory? It sounds like you guys had an L.A. experience then. A yes. good weekend. Yes. You did. did you get any songwriting in there? We were messing around the other morning. We had a guitar in the hotel room. Um, and it was interesting. It, it's when you don't have the, the daily grind in, in your life at home, you know, you've got dogs, you've got errands to run. Uh, the inspiration was definitely striking. So we got a few started on this trip. Yeah. Part of, part of the trip included a little stint in Orlando or two hours outside of Orlando, Florida. And we were there for a few days in our tour vehicle, visiting some friends. And, uh, that was kind of our base for leaving to come to LA. And, uh, uh, yeah, I, I, I have a song I wrote a few years ago that I, I've always wanted to put a bridge in it. And mm -hmm. uh, uh, she came home from the bachelorette party, and I was all ecstatic because I finally thought of a bridge to add to this song. It's going to be on our next album. So it was, 
she was like immediately like having ideas where yeah. we get all excited. That's, we love it when that happens because it's like, okay, Tim, I love it, I love it, I love it, but I'm going to suggest what we do, do this, this and, and we do this and we do this. It's a great collaboration. It's always fun, you know, like to get in that creative mode together like that and Absolutely. see what she can do to elevate it even farther than what I what I can do. So it was yeah, lightning strikes. Strike. Yeah, dude. Two masterminds at work. That's uh, <laughs> we're just uh, happy to be in your uh, in your orbit there. So oh. let's play this one. Uh, Set your anchors free. This is your latest single, right? Now, is, yeah. tell us about this one here. Um, so this was actually the first one we actually wrote together. Yeah. Uh, after we you know we got together in 2014 uh, under the premise of co-writing a song together. Started the band. Started life. Couldn't quite figure out how to write together. I had done quite a few co-writes, but Tim wasn't really in, like into co-writing. So we would like try and sit down and it wouldn't work. And one time he gave a, uh, me these lyrics and he said, I wrote a melody, but I'm not happy with the melody. So I'm not going to play you the song. I'm just going to give you the words. Go write, go write the, like, the you know, composition to it. Go write the chords and the melody to it. And I came back and I've still to this day, he won't tell me what the old melody and, and chords were. But he's like, no, this is perfect. Uh, we're running with it. And so that was our first kind of co-write. We've just learned that um, that kind of works best if we hand off an idea and we say, hey, this is as far as I got before the writer's block kicked in. Now you take it. It's like passing a baton. Um, and then just last uh, August, we were in Florida um, during actually one of the hurricanes. And uh, we're kind of taking shelter with our friends that had just moved there, helping them button down their horse farm. And... Finally, we sat down on a porch late at night in Florida and wrote a song together, like under these beautiful trees with Spanish moss. It was perfect. Like, like we actively back and back forth, and forth in, in the, the same moment. space so, instead wow. of just handing something off, you know. Set, yeah, Set the Anchors was cool because he had had just this vision. And, uh, and when he brought it to me, I was like, hey, uh, are we good? Because this is like, you know, we're at that seven year itch. Like, this isn't like Freudian slip, is it? Like, are you happy? Are you good? He's like, oh, yeah, this. You know me. I just like to write. I write like to write sad songs. So well, I, the the premise. <laughs> just of writing the, song. the breakup song with you. You know, yeah, it's, yeah, it's so casual. It's a Stevie, yeah. it's a Stevie Nicks. The yeah, kind of yeah. Thing. Like here, here's the song that I wrote about you. <laughs> the, the premise I had been thinking about. Um, sometimes I just go down these visual paths in my head. You know, thinking of stories and things and. Um, and this idea was like this old couple that uh, they'd been tending a lighthouse for decades. And, you know, their, their main job was to give refuge or uh, pr you know, protection to, and warnings to sailors getting too close. And in the midst of that and spending so much time together, they kind of lost each other. And, and, the, and that's, that's kind of the idea of the words and kind of, uh, you know, there's a lot of symbolic, um, you know, use of the sea and, you know, images from the sea and all that. So you'll hear a lot of that in there. And, I picked uh, up on that really quick. And and so I mean, when I, when I, was reading it like the one thing I kept thinking was when it came to the melody like some of the chords I was choosing uh you know I had like a minor two and it would dip back down to the one and go up to a minor two and dip back down it was supposed to be creating those swells like on the ocean it was like it's, even the it's yeah it's, it's musically brilliant what she did with it and very it's nice. like it, it's hard for me because it doesn't like follow the standard you know, chord progression changes, and I, I have to tell myself every time I play it, okay, it goes back to the D minor seven or whatever there. And yeah, it's like, yeah. You know, because I because you you want to fall naturally to some other place. You know, I think that, and it's just beautiful. It's amazing, and and it, her voice also it highlights. It just takes it places that are just magical. You know, guys, guys are creating a whole new genre of music. We're gonna call it indie prog. Indie <laughs> prog, I like it. All right, I like it. He Maybe Prague Indy, I don't know. I'll figure it out. Right. So he thought um, I, one day we were talking about the funny enough Prague. I, he's like, does that stand for? He thought it meant like Prague, like Czech Republic rock. I was like, I think it means progressive. Babe. <laughs> okay, you're gonna start. You're gonna, I'm okay, sorry, you're I have start to get that. Start, I did bring up the luggage. Okay, you so did we're hey, leaving the phone. Even now, so no more dirty no laundry. More, okay, no more dirty laundry. Okay. If if you listen to Prague rock from Prague, it sounds like Prague rock. So you're <laughs> fine either way. Okay. <laughs> okay. <laughs> awesome. Oh, that's great. Well, guys, thanks it's for coming out today. Prague, Prague. <laughs> it's it's Prague, Prague rock from Prague. Um, <laughs> this is uh, regular rock from Franklin. The website is fbrmusic.com, where you can follow along. Tim and Mallory from the FBR. Thanks for coming on Night Sounds.
Thank you. Thank you.